Hello, ladies and gentlemen, crypto deep divers. Welcome back to Weekly Crypto. Today, I'm going to talk about Flamingo. So, Flamingo is basically as a DeFi decentralized finance protocol on a Neo blockchain. And before we get into that, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out the upcoming video that could be time sensitive. Also, you can follow me on Twitter, library.tv, as well as Patreon. So for my Patreon group member, I uh, post a video about COVID, uh, the vaccine, and also uh, there's a must know indicator you should know before you start trading. And of course, I did Tezos, Bitcoin update, as well as herd immunity. And of course, there's another token, it's uh, just a uh, chain link. There's a next chain link token. And of course, uh, I talk about uh, which gold and silver coin has high resale value. If you're interested, you can join my Patreon group. And of course, um, if you haven't uh, opened an account in Gemini, uh, if you're interested, you can click the link below. Uh, both of us will get $10 worth of Bitcoin if you uh, uh, join Gemini. And right now, Ledger, they have 20% off um, back to school sale. Uh, if you're interested, you can uh, click the link below as well. I think it's important you store your cryptocurrency uh, in a hardware wallet. Uh, that is very important because not your key not your token, don't leave it in the exchange. <clears throat> so let's talk about NEO. And so right now, everybody jumping on the bandwagon of the D5 decentralized finance um, uh, protocol. The thing is, uh, in the right now in the Ethereum ecosystem, uh, right now the gas price uh, is a little bit uh, outrageous right now. It's like, uh, how much is the gas price right now? It's like 146 square, maybe probably like 100 bucks. You have to pull, uh, uh, pay 100 bucks uh, just to do a transactions. So and uh, so this thing is going to launch on September 23rd. And of course, here you have a wrapper, uh, just like the wrapper for the Ethereum. And this is a cross-chain cross asset. This is for uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and ontology uh, network. <clears throat> then, of course, you have a Vogue. And this is for asset staking, reward mining, and uh, collateralized uh, stablecoin insurance. And then you have a swap. Of course, you have need to have the on-chain liquidity. Um, and right now, uh, if you still remember, if you're the NEO token holder back in, uh, I don't know, 2017, uh, NEO is a, one of the hottest coin ever, right? <laughs> but probably uh, right now is losing our favor. Everybody like right now looking for the next big thing, which is the polka dot. But anyway, so um, right now, the guess, uh, if you hold NEO token in the uh, NEON wallet, you, you're going to get uh, guess, right? Guess is a, basically is a free money. And uh, right now, the um, Ethereum gas, you have to pay a huge amount of Ethereum gas price. I think it's a little bit insane. And uh, of course, uh, right now, Binance also, they, they have their own uh, DeFi decentralized protocol. They have a whole bunch of stuff over there. Uh, recently, they have a, bog, a burger swap as well. But I don't want to get into those things at this time. And, <clears throat> and then you have a swap on chain liquidity. You have a perpetual contract as well. Those are for the liquidity. DAO, you have a decentralized governance system. And... So basically, uh, interoper interoperability is very important because you have to have a cross-chain activity between a different ecosystem. And uh, right now, uh, they have, uh, of course, no pre-mining, no pre-distribution. 100% token reward will be through the uh, capital injection, which is the stack, uh, stacking and also the government uh, governance participa uh, participation. And uh, the mainnet, uh, the cross-chain functionality, they already launched on August 14. And of course, they have a polychain, uh, poly network launch already August 18. The wrapper launch will be sub September 23rd, which is the uh, Vogue phase one. The NEO uh, cross-chain asset staking. So people can start staking uh, the NEO uh, in, the, in the ecosystem in uh, September 23rd to participate in this DeFi decentralized finance protocol. And... <clears throat> Uh, Dai Hongfei, if you still remember, he is the founder of the Neo blockchain, and he wrote a piece about Flamingo, the DeFi, uh, up the DeFi game. Uh, this is a decentralized, a DeFi, a decentralized finance on Neo ecosystem. And at the end of this year, they're going to launch the Neo three. Uh, at the end of twenty twenty, and so a uh, poly network. Uh, basically, they connect a uh, different blockchain ranging from Neo to uh. uh Ethereum to NEO, Ontology, Cosmos, SDK blockchain as well. That is important. Uh, that's very important for the uh, cross-chain activity. And then, of course, they have a decentralized exchange, Switchio. If you still remember, Switchio, uh, once uh, before 2017, 
I think 2017 uh, is a big uh, is a big hit, right? As a at the time, there's not that many de decentralized exchange, um, <clears throat> and also they have a, a switch to cross chain uh, capability as well, and they they are ready for DeFi decentralized fin finance because they have the, all the infrastructure and ready to go uh, actually. So September 23rd, they're going to do that, and in terms of the timeline. Um, you can see uh, this this thing. You can find it in the uh, ICO uh, drops uh, dot com flamingo, and and then you can see uh, they already do, did all this poly network launch, and then Neo mainnet integration, and then September twenty third, it will be a rapid launch, uh, folk phase one, uh, cross chain asset staking Neo, and then September thirtieth, you have going to have a swap launch. Uh, and then you have a uh, phase two, phase three will be with stable coin, which will be October uh, twenty, uh, October twenty eighth. And then you have a uh, uh, and you have a, a purge launch on November twenty fifth. Uh, this is the liquidity. And then uh, December twenty third, you have a DAO launch, the governance, uh, the governance. So everything. Uh, so you, if you can see the FLM, which is the uh, Flamingo token, right, uh, accumulative supply, and uh, this is the mean rush on those days, like the wrapper and the Vogue launch, and <clears throat> then you have a swap launch, stablecoin launch, prep launch, DAO launch, and um, uh, I think, let's see, the staking is on here, and this is what, well, this is the mean rush, and this is staking LP token. This is the mean. Uh, and then you can deposit deposit this thing, the prep margin, uh, which is the uh, liquidity uh, pool. And let's see. So this is different. So this is the, just the distribution of the uh, of of the uh, Flamingo token. So you can see governance in here, the staking uh, LP tokens, and then you have minting FUSD and uh, all this. So all this picture you can see in the ICO drops at uh, 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 for, for this uh, particular Flamingo, uh, Flamingo, uh, the D5 decentralized uh, protocol uh, ecosystem on the NEO uh, blockchain. So <clears throat> right now everything is not ready yet. So September 23rd, it will be ready to go. Uh, so that's why NEO uh, token, oops, ooh, ooh. Ooh, I put in the wrong one. So the NEO token has been uh, increasing a little bit steadily. Okay. So the NEO token has been, the price has been increasing a little bit steadily for the last few days uh, because of the, uh, probably because more and more people know that the Flamingo, the D5 decentralized finance protocol, the FLM, uh, is going to launch on September 23rd. Uh, people probably uh, want to uh, get into the staking and also uh, just like the yield farming in the Ethereum ecosystem. Uh, in, in terms of the yield farming, they have something new too, the burger swap in Binance, to, uh, <laughs> Binance ecosystem. Uh, the thing is, uh, I know a lot, of mon a, lot of, a, lot, a lot of people lose a lot of money in those um, yield farming. Just be careful out there, okay? If you're very, very early on, uh, you probably make uh, money. Even though some people are very early on still losing money, I think the burger used to be uh, the burger token used to be like maybe um, the price is I can't remember maybe uh, right now the, I think the price is three dollars I don't know but used to be higher price than this so this is going through the Binance ecosystem of course you have to exchange your Binance token to the burgers uh, burgers burger token and this is a, so that's why I bought burger swap swap. And I would be very careful on this type of thing, like sushi, sushi kimchi, all this. Uh, yam, yam is already, you know that uh, is a fake, uh, is already, is already a fake project. Project. So you got to be very careful. Um, maybe some people they get lucky, they get very early on, and then after the pump they x out. But the thing is, you have to monitor this thing almost twenty four seven. I mean, who has the time to do that? And basically, people are not sleeping or not doing anything. They just monitor this thing. If they pump, they just x out, right? So this is, uh, to me, is too high risk. And I and I know a lot of people lose a lot of money in those uh, yield farming. And depending on which uh, pool you're going to do, that's just too much. So I would just um, be on the side of caution on these things. Uh, just be careful out there. Of course, a lot of people uh, say make a lot of money, but just show us show us your your uh, your. <clears throat> 
uh, show us your account, okay? How much money you make out of that? Of, co uh, of course, a lot of people lose money as well. So, uh, and also those people are pretty crazy. They don't, they didn't even sleep for, I don't know, for how many hours. <laughs> they just focus on farming every day. I mean, that's insane. I can't do that. But um, this one, uh, the flamingo is more legit because uh, this is, uh, at, at least uh, you have uh, something written by Dai Hongfei. He's the founder of Neo Ecosystem. They don't want to crash all this. They don't want to crash this neo blockchain, right? They want to be, they want this uh, blockchain to grow, right? So, but uh, this thing I'm a little bit more interested. Maybe I will get into it. Um, so, <clears throat> if you have some neo uh, just sitting on the neo, ne my uh, the neon wallet, maybe is maybe uh, just uh, get some neo and play with this game. Maybe maybe do a little bit. Uh, I'm not your financial advisor, by the way. Uh, don't put in the money you cannot afford to lose. And uh, this is just one of the D5 decentralized finance protocol on, um, on one of the ecosystem. This is on Neo blockchain. And of course, there will be a lot more to come, right? Everybody jumping on the D5 decentralized bandwagon. I'm not surprised. Uh, there will be a whole bunch of other projects that will do the same thing and catching on this hype, uh, right? I mean, if you want to see the hype, it's very easy. Look at the gas price uh, for the Ethereum. You have, oh my goodness, is it 140 something earlier? Right mean, now it's 196 Gwei. This is way too much money, man. Uh, I don't know if this is sustainable. The Ethereum gas is like outrageously expensive. It used to be like 60 or 90 Gwei or even 100 Gwei, we would consider expensive. Right now, uh, you're talking about uh, you have to pay uh, almost almost 300 and 312 Gwei and then 260 Gwei. The standards is 196 Gwei. I mean, back in 2018, uh, when uh, everything is uh, still in a bear market, you pay maybe 20, 30 Gwei. That's now you have to pay almost uh, five times more, right? <clears throat> or or 10x more if you're a trader, right? You pay 300 Gwei. So I think it's a little bit insane at this time. I will not, when everybody going to one project or one ecosystem, I will just look in some other ecosystem. There's always opportunity in different part of the ecosystem. So just be careful out there, just be selective. Uh, you don't want to lose your capital. You need to uh, preserve your capital, right? I know there's a lot of uh, opportunity in the DeFi space, but you've got to be careful. You've got to be selective. If you have some NEO sitting around in a, mine, uh, in a neon wallet, maybe, uh, Maybe you can uh, play this game, but not a financial advice. Don't put in the money you cannot afford to lose. Once again, I'm not your financial advisor. So let me know if you're interested in this uh, Flamingo um, decentralized uh, finance protocol on a NEO blockchain. And I'm not surprised uh, EOS, EOS is going to do the same thing. They're going to jump in on the uh, D5 decentralized uh, protocol as well. EOS uh, along with Silica, along with other uh, blockchain. Uh, I'm not that surprised they're going to jumping on this band, bandwagon uh, for sure. <clears throat> so let me know what you think about all this. I will uh, love to hear from you. Are you going to do? Uh, are you going to do some uh, staking in this uh, flamingo ecosystem? Uh, flamingo. Um, let me know uh, what you think about this. I would love to hear from you. Um, if you find this video helpful, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, also share it with your friends. Make sure you subscribe. So you don't miss out the upcoming video that could be time sensitive. Oh, uh, this thing is going to launch on September 23rd. So just uh, be ready if you want to uh, you want to participate in this game. And uh, also hit the notification bell so you don't miss out the upcoming video that could be time sensitive as well. Also, you can follow me on Twitter, library.tv, as well as um, my pa uh, Patreon. You can join my Patreon group as well. And a lot of sensitive things I can't even talk about in YouTube anymore, especially about the... Uh, about that... Uh, <laughs> about this uh, uh, virus, right? So I can't even talk about it. It's too time set. It's just too sensitive uh, in terms of the YouTube uh, or Google algorithm. But anyway, um, remember, crypto deep divers. We the people take control of our money. Stay wise. Stay safe. Peace. I'm not your financial advisor. Investing in cryptocurrency, commodity, and stock market has inherent risk. Please use a due diligence. Also, I'm not your healthcare provider. If you have any uh, question or concern about the virus. Please consult with your physicians and uh, peace out.